I think the last time I woke up this early, I was going to go and uh, fetch the aeroplane. And uh, today, we're going to go and um, we're gonna fly the aeroplane. So, let's go. Go and grab some fuel quick. Um, there's no no fuel at the at the airfield, so I'm just going to go and fill up a whole lot of fuel containers and take my own fuel. So the big day has finally arrived, and um, we are now about to take our first flying lesson in the Foxhound. After quite a few months of getting a little bit sidetracked and um, carried away with the modifications that we, we were doing and uh, a bit of a hassle with the paperwork, we are here. Must apologize up front though, um, I don't know what happened to the GoPro audio, the adapter um, buggered around a bit and uh, we eventually ended up just disconnecting it and going on. So there's no audio from in the cockpit unfortunately, um, we will sort it out and get that fixed up for the next uh, video or video afterwards, that we're just trying to figure out what went wrong. But um, yeah, join us as we go along, what we did in this first lesson um, is a lot of groundwork with the aircraft uh, spent good few hours over a two-day period learning how to taxi a tail dragger move it around the brakes the rudder control everything that was required for moving it on the ground So the whole plan of action was that um, I needed to learn how to steer the tail dragger. So the instructor had me um, taxi down the runway and you see this, the mounds of sand alongside the runway. I had to pick a mound of sand and then I had to make an opposite turn and stop with the spinner pointing the uh, mound of sand. And initially I was absolutely horrendous at that. I got I couldn't get the thing to stop straight, I stopped too short, stopped too late, forgot to apply brakes. Uh, it was quite a joke, um, laugh a minute and eventually as we went along through the day uh, well, I got better and I got better and I got better and it was actually pretty rewarding to see how quickly I could pick up the handling and that and we, I got the speed up a bit, a little bit more throttle involved Eventually the, the weather actually came in and then we, we stopped for a little bit and um, took a break. I was back, yeah, I was really feeling overwhelmed at one stage. My mind was saturated with information. So we took a little bit of a break and then after lunch we decided to give it another bash and see what it would be like to actually take it for a flip in the sky. After lunch, my instructor had me taxi all the way down to the holding point at the bottom of runway 22 and then we swapped seats. The Foxhound only has brakes on the left hand side so the instructor required to sit on the left hand side before we actually took to the sky and he thought that it would be great to get her up in the air and give me a bit of time behind the stick and see how I handled her and see how she flew. So here we go.
So what the instructor had me do was fly a couple of right-hand circuits and then a couple of left-hand circuits around the airfield and just so that he could see how my air handling was, uh, my coordinated turns and to see how I maintained pitch control of the aircraft. He handled all the throttle inputs, I just did stick and rudder for now and uh, he wanted to see that before we were to get into lesson number two which would be the effects of controls and um, yeah I'd never flown the aircraft before I had, didn't even go on a test flight before I bought her so absolutely thrilled happy as can be can't wait to get into the next lesson Day two uh, provided some entertainment with one extreme rainstorm the night before. Uh, everything was muddy and soaked. The runway was absolutely turned to sludge and mush. And uh, instructor's plan for day two of ground handling was to do a bunch of high speed runs down the down the runway. So he sat in the left hand seat so he could have the brakes. He just wanted to get tail up a little bit, let me feel the rudder. Um, and just give me an idea of what the aircraft was like at higher speed. It proved to be very interesting in a wet condition. She slid around a little bit. It probably wasn't the funnest day in my book. I left feeling extremely exhausted. My mind was really, really saturated from the concentration and everything. As we increased the speed, the dynamics of the aircraft changed so much and I didn't have brakes on my side so I was a little bit panicky but it was pretty good we actually got somewhere and um, I felt that I achieved a whole lot At the end of the day we had so much mud on that aircraft it was absolutely crazy I was really tired so we just wheeled her back into the hangar um, pushed her back into a hangar bay and went off and filled in all the log books and um, student reports and all that sort of stuff and had a little bit of a debrief and then I looked at her and went there's no ways I'm leaving her in the hangar that dirty so I dragged her back out again and uh, spent another hour and a half giving the fox hound a wash and so that she could go back and clean. The airfield is 70 odd kilometers from where I stay, so it's not like I can just shoot there after work one afternoon, and, you know, give her a bit of a clean. So we gave her a quick clean up and um, yeah, packed her away. And that's it. And we shall see you next week with lesson number two. And uh, you know the story. Like this video if you do. Please hit that subscribe button and come and join us next week for. The effects of controls, and you can genuinely be the wingman. The other exercises that you do, just the numbers you put in. Okay. So, you go through your experience that you've done, and effects of controls is full. So, that's what you'll go with the internship in Philadelphia. That'll be going along there. And taxing, that's just continual. That's going to be ground handling, flying. Ground handling, the flying consists of uh, from six, seven, eight, nine. And store it 10 a. So okay. you just get that it's absolutely aware, buffet, turning, feet, stick, and rudder, everything's in place. And then you're going to start bringing it into 12 and 13 at a later stage. Okay. Cool. Good. Now we're there. Sorry. And then we just go over all the exercises later. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I pulled the logbook in. It's all good. Nice flying today. Well done. Yeah, very lucky. Awesome stuff. So I can't just write your pilot was epic. <laughs> <laughs>